Hey G Squad, welcome back to my soda. Is it worth it? So today episode we got this cool amazing right here. And basically what this is, is a pop-up beast tent. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. And you see it's actually pretty small and compact. Since it is a pop-up beast tent. Not like your typical beast tent where you guys have to put like poles or like foundations uh, to set it all up. But see on the bottom right here, they do probably got some specs and features that's on the product. They mentioned how the product is well ventilated. It has UV protection and it has an auto pop-up option. So when you guys do use the product, it definitely gives you guys the UV protection on here when you guys actually use it. And then for the one that we got right here is a dark blue color. They do have this available in many other designs and many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one prefer. But first, let me actually open this up to show you guys what's included inside. All right, so once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like inside. So you see in the front, we do have the brand logo. Top part, we have a little handle for you guys to carry around really easily. And if you guys turn to the back, they provide you guys two straps so that way you can wear like a backpack. So something like this. So that way it actually makes it a lot easier for you guys to carry around when you guys are like going to the beach, camping, hiking, or anything else. But you see the size of the product is not that big. It is actually pretty small and compact. And they do have a zipper for you guys to open up. So let's open up and show you guys what the product looks like inside. So first thing inside, they do provide you guys a bunch of these little small bags that you can use to put sand in here. So that way it works like a sandbag to hold down the tent. So they probably guys two, three, four. I think there's a total of four of them. If there's more, then I'll show you guys in a second, but it looks like there are four of them. Right here, they probably got a small little bag. And inside a small little bag, they probably got a bunch of these tools or accessories that you can use to set it up. So if you guys want to stick it down in the garage or something, you do have the option available. For this video, I'm not gonna use those accessories because there's no like sand or grass on here. But when you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like inside. And right here, they probably got instruction to teach you guys how to fold it back up once you guys are done. But it should be pretty straightforward. And inside right there, there's like a feedback card. I'm not sure if you see it inside or not. But here's what the product looks like before you guys set it up. Now let me actually set it up to show you guys what the product looks like and how easy it's to actually set it up. So basically all you need to do is unstrap it and just kind of open it up. All right. So once you guys open it, here is basically what the product looks like. So you can see the whole setup process and everything was actually really easy. Once you guys fully open it, then it expands by itself. There's nothing that you need to do to like set up each different poles or foundation or whatever, because it's all set up. Only thing you guys need to do if you guys do use it outside is using the sandbag option to stick it onto the ground. As you guys can see in the corners right here. And also built into the product, they also have a bunch of these bags as well that you put sand in here to use as sandbags. So there's one right here, one in the back corner, I believe there's like two more on the other side as well. But right here in the front, if you guys can see, we do have an opening for you guys to open up. So that way you can go inside. So just like that, really easily. If you guys notice the material that's inside, they do have the insulation inside to keep you guys warm when you guys actually use it. And then on the side right here, they do give you guys an option to kind of like put it through to keep the door open if you guys want to. Same thing for the other side. So that way you get some fresh air if you guys want to. But if you guys look at the size of the tent, it is pretty big. There's definitely enough space for you guys to put like two or three people inside. So this is what the front part looks like. Let me show you guys the side. All right, so here's one other side. You can see how she has an opening right here for like the window option. And for the window option right here, it does have like the mesh cover. So that way you can get fresh air, but also prevent any bug from getting in. Bottom part right here, we do have the brand logo. And also for the window slot right here, they do give you guys an option to zip it up. Let me go inside to show you guys what I mean. All right, so I'm inside. If you guys kind of like zip it up or close it up, there's basically this option inside for you guys to just drop it on to give you guys a little bit of privacy. So just like that. Same thing applies to the other side. So I'm actually continue turning around. All right, so once we turn on this side, if you see there's another opening. So for this product, it does give you guys a two door option for two way entrance if you guys want to. So this side is a zipper option. And for this side, you can basically open up like this. So that way you have more space and a better entrance for you guys to go in and out. And then for the zipper on this side, it's a two-sided zipper. So you guys can open and close it from the inside or the outside. And if you guys notice on the inside right here, there's a bunch of these options for you guys to hang stuff inside. So maybe if you guys want to put like a lantern or something, you do have the option available. So this is what the product looks like on this side. Let's turn it one more time. All right, so here is the last side. So this side basically has like the mesh cover as well. So that way you guys can open up or close the window option if you guys want to. This side doesn't have the brand logo name, but the other side do. And then right here on top, they do give you guys an option on all four corner. So that way if you guys want to use the roll option to kind of tie it down, 
using the sign bag option, you do have the option available. So I'm actually going to go in and close this window as well to show you guys how to use it. So the same thing on this side, close it on the inside right here. And I will show you guys what the inside looks like in a second. All right, so that is basically how you guys close it up. So that is basically like a 360 point of view of what the product looks like. But let's turn it back this way so that way I can show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so here is the entrance. If you guys walk in, this is what the inside looks like. So if you can see for the top part right here in all four corners, that is how you guys are strapping the window option. So when you guys want to take it down, you guys want to unstrap each corner. So right there, right here, right here, and right here. And they also give you guys the option here and right there to actually hold like the window option if you guys want to. But if you guys notice inside right here, they do have a mesh pocket for you to put stuff if you guys want to. So maybe like your phone, your cell phone, your power bank, or other stuff as well. Same thing for our side right here. And right here, like I mentioned, we do have the little zipper for you guys to unzip it or you can zip it back up. Same thing applies to this side right here. And over the top part right here, you can see they have a little hook for you guys to hang like your lantern or something inside. So that way you can get a little bit of light during the nighttime. So this is what the inside looks like. You can see it definitely looks pretty nice and it actually feels pretty nice. But what I recommend when you guys sit inside the actual tent, you probably want to get like a padding or something on here because when you guys sit directly on the ground, it's not like super comfortable. It actually feels kind of like a hard surface. But here is basically what the inside looks like. All right, so that is basically everything that's on the product in terms of how to set it up. Now I'm actually put it away to show you guys how to actually put it away. So the first thing I want to do is zip back everything up first. All right, so once you guys zip everything up, you guys can start kind of folding it back into original shape. So I just want to hold it up just like this first and kind of fold it up. You might have to open up some of the holes on here so that way some of the air can come out. Once you guys get to this part right here, you guys want to fold it up halfway. And push this part down. Just like that. And you guys want to just strap it back together. Alright, so once you guys strap it back together, you guys can put it back into the bag. So just like that. And you probably want to put back the accessories as well. So I'm going to put this back inside. And I'm going to put these back as well, which are basically like the sandbag options. Once you guys do that, then you guys are all set. So super easy for you guys to set up and actually really easy for you guys to put it back away. If it didn't take me more than like two or three minutes to actually set it up and put it away. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this two-door pop-up beast tent, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want one need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality beast tent and you rather have like a pop-up option, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.